Let's talk about why you must be on LinkedIn first. Let's take a look at some of the key stats about LinkedIn. LinkedIn has more than 740 million active users across 200 countries. In 2020, LinkedIn was voted the most trusted network according to Business Insider. LinkedIn Live launched in February 2019, but really took off in 2020, increasing by 437%. That was a year over stat, year over year from October 2019 to 2020, 437% increase. 174 million U.S. workers have LinkedIn profiles. Canada has 17 million users and over 27% use LinkedIn each month. 57% of LinkedIn's traffic is mobile, which I think is a little lower than some of the other social platforms. LinkedIn users are 20 times more likely to reshare a video post and, not surprising, 2020 saw a 55% increase in conversations happening on LinkedIn. Now, LinkedIn is more than a social network. It's a business platform, both B2B, business to business, and B2C, business to consumer. Also, it is a giant database and a search engine. More on leveraging the powerful search feature in upcoming videos. Undoubtedly, the primary reason to be on LinkedIn is to strengthen your online presence as your profile will definitely come up on the first page of Google, maybe page two, depending on how many sites and profiles you're using online. Now, there are several different types of LinkedIn users. The first group, now I have actually been part of uh, all these groups except for one. So you may be like I was, the set it and forget it people. Uh, and it's fine if you're going to go this route, if LinkedIn is not the platform you want to use. However, I highly recommend that you m complete this module uh, on the foundations and particularly how to create an all-star profile. So those are the set it and forget it. Next, the dabblers or the profile checkers. Um, I've also, I think this is where I have been most recently. These are the users who either occasionally share content or maybe using an auto posting service for their content sharing. They also use LinkedIn to find and learn more about someone, maybe even a client. They're not really spending any time on the platform to connect and build relationships or to convert connections into clients. Now, then there are the sales pitchers or the spammers do not be this type of user. Unfortunately, there is a lot of, uh, of this happening on LinkedIn, and I think it turns a lot of people off, but you just need to look past this because there are definitely some opportunities on LinkedIn if you're wanting to use this for more than just having an awesome profile. So the spammers, you know who they are. They're the people who are trying to game the system a little bit with automatic tools for converting and those autoresponders, and they just spam your inbox with marketing and sales pitches. They skip that critical part of connecting and providing value and building trust. Now, the last group is the power users and the influencers. These are the folks who use LinkedIn daily to strategically connect and build relationships. They're content creators, leveraging all the various tools that are on LinkedIn and sharing their brand story. They understand it's all about the no like trust formula and how to ultimately take the conversation offline and convert it to a sale. Now, we're gonna cover that in module three if that's what you're interested in. Bottom line, as a business professional, it's critical to have an all-star profile at a minimum on LinkedIn so you can be found in searches and make a positive impression when someone Googles you.